If you're the one who's been looking out to be a drone pilot instructor in India and have no clarity of how to be the one, then this video is meant for you. Through this video, I'll let you know the entire journey that I faced to clear my drone instructor rating. And by the end of the video, I'll let you know the mistakes that I made which made me fail twice in the instructor rating. So stay tuned till the end of the video. Once you clear your train the trainer course, now it's your time for preparation. I'll break down the things that you need to prepare for your drone instructor rating. Number one, you need to be prepared for every regulations, every technical details and every emergency procedures that had to be at your fingertips. So before you clear anything, understanding about the DCA rules is must. You need to be completely thorough about the drone rules 2021. They may ask you any of the rule to be explained nor any of the part to be explained. I had got a question where they asked me, explain me the rule 44. If you're the one who is a fresher and have no idea about what is this rule 44, you would be completely blank and this would lead you to be failed in your interview. So wherein I had a clear cut answer for it, which gave them a confidence that this guy has been prepared and he knows the details about what I have been talking about. Number two, teaching practice. Since an instructor must be able to explain the concepts clearly, I practiced delivering lectures on aerodynamics, airspace classifications and emergency procedures. This helped me to clear my instructor rating in ease, where they asked me to explain about the Bernoulli's principle. I was already prepared about this concept, which made me ease the interview process. Number 3. Mock Interviews I simulated the Viva with experienced drone instructors and professionals to fine-tune my responses which gave me a clear-cut way to answer the questions which the Viva panel will be asking to me. And it gave me a grip that how the environment around the Viva is gonna be. One of the biggest challenge was navigating the unpredictable nature of the Viva. I had heard the stories of the candidate being grilled on anything from the drone battery chemistry to the real-world case studies on the drone failures. So I focused on developing a calm and confident approach which you also need to apply in your real life so that you can practically demonstrate in front of the Viva panel. So be calm and be confident and have a deep breath before you answer any of the question. More on the Viva questions which they asked by the end of the video. The day of the Viva. See, I'm a South Indian. I flew from Bangalore to Delhi one day prior to my Viva dates. Through my entire journey, I gave time for the preparation. Even in the flight, I was sitting and preparing the Viva questions. And I request you guys to have a proper sleep before the day of Viva. Because your mind need to be calm and clear about the questions they're gonna ask and the answers that you need to provide. Now let me tell you why I failed in my first interview process. In my first interview process, I was a bit overconfident. Let me tell you why. As the drone industry has been evolving, I was keen enough to learn all the things as much as possible. During my first attempt, you can say it like, I was unaware of the nature of how the Viva goes on. Like you guys, you have no idea of how the Viva takes place, right? In the same way, I was having no clarity of how the Viva takes place and what sort of answer that I need to minimalize so that they get clear-cut information. I'll give you an example and you can judge me based on the answer which I provided there. During the first interview, the panelist asked me, what are the RC controls? There was a physical RC which has been placed on the table. I had to answer it like there are three modes of control in this which would be loiter, alt, hold, etc. And I would have concluded based on their functions. But I had more amount of knowledge regarding that, which I shouldn't have provided. The answer which I provided was, on the left hand side, you hold three modes of control, which are X, Y, Z. And on the right hand side, there are also three modes of control, which are not functionable. But you can make it functional by adding through the pixel. You understand that the concept which I provided was actually right. But the answer which I had to provide must be minimalistic to the 10 standard students where this sort of information is quite burden for them. So I feel I failed in my first interview process. Let me narrate you what happened in my second interview process. See, once a person who has been overconfident, overwhelming, had failed, he will be shut down. Same thing happened to me. And during my second attempt, Delhi was completely cold which was new thing to me. <laughs> Once I entered the interview panel, I was already broken down by looking at the panelist because the same panelist was sitting there who had to question me. The first question which he asked me was, 
if a student reports inconsistent battery voltage reading what do you do by hearing this question itself as completely blank when the panelist asked me the situation based questions and regarding my resume i knew that i'm going to fail this time for my third attempt i arrived one day prior to my viva voice now it was a do or die situation for me if i fail in the viva voice i'm going to end my career in this point because i need to wait again for one more year to get into the instructor rating and i also need to take up the courses by paying like a half a lakh etc so i had a tough situation but with a calm mindset final moment my interview lasted about 40 minutes which covered dtc drone rule 2021 and my teaching technique at the end of the interview the panelist asked me why do you want to become a drone pilot instructor here i did not provide a technical answer instead i spoke from my heart my answer was simple i want to be a part of this drone transformation in india by training the future drone pilot to operate safely and professionally once i came out of the room i was proud about myself because i delivered all the answers to the questions which they asked see clearing this viva isn't just about memorizing the things it's about understanding why behind every concept and communicating the complex topics in a simplest way as possible so this was my journey if you found my journey helpful please let me know in the comment section below and also share it to your friend who is dreaming to become a drone pilot instructor in india hey you missed out something check the description box you got the list of questions that you need to prepare for the instructor rating viva all the best for your career and thank you so much for watching see you in the next video